Charles Bradley once wrote a line that says, the world is going up in flames. Well, in fact, I don't want to solve every problem in the world, but I would like to add a little piece to the puzzle. So, what is it all about? Many problems are spatial related, so they are more or less geographical problems. A GIS enables us to solve maybe these problems. A GIS is a geographic information system and it's designed to capture, store, manipulate, analyze, manage and present all types of geographical data. And therefore it helps us maybe to get rid of erosional problems, pollution in suburbs in less developed countries, population pressure in urban areas and also problems that are related to land cover change so, what is a GIS? A GIS is able to calculate information from a diversity of data and therefore enables us to get information also for special locations like cities, regions or maybe parking lots. A major player in the whole GIS business is ESRI with its software ArcGIS. In fact, ArcGIS isn't open source. Well, it costs you to use the software, to own the software, and also to learn the software. Quantum GIS, in case, is an open source GIS that is able to handle a lot of input um, formats and to map and explore your spatial data, change it, from spatial ana spatial analysis on it and also to publish your maps and data. Furthermore, you can adapt QGIS to your own needs and maybe the needs of the community. But how to learn QGIS? QGIS, of course, is a state-of-the-art software, so you have a very complex GUI you have to understand. Well, and in my case, I've done a lot of video tutorials for ArcGIS that are distributed via YouTube and as you can see there are a lot of users in India, Morocco, Indonesia, Turkey that are more or less less developed countries and you can easily connect to with YouTube. So standing in front of a chalkboard isn't the correct way to yeah, let people understand how to use a GIS environment. So video tutorials are great due to their interactivity they are repeatable, so you can easily download them. You can um, share them with others. They are non-disturbing as you are just sitting in front of your PC. And they provide enough linearity to um, let people follow each step of your analysis. And of course, due to the fact that they are easily to consume, they are also user-friendly. But in fact, as you can see, you can distribute and information very differently. In this case, this is an internet site that is covered in advertisement. I would like to distribute my video tutorials not on YouTube but on another platform which also um, gets the user to ask questions, to use forums to ask their questions and to get more or less a complete community around QGIS. So, why support us? You should support us to let potential users in less developed countries learn new skills and let them solve their own problems instead of spending money to governments and let projects be there. You can increase the learning effect and usability of the video tutorials and give open source software and um, software a broader user basis. So support us with your ideas with your attention and by telling others about the project and maybe you can spend some money on it as well. Thank you.